Hello, my name is Murad Larbi. In this nine minutes tutorial, I'll show you how to make a MATLAB octave program to solve an ordinary differential equation by using Euler's method. Euler's method is applied to solve ordinary differential equations to obtain particular solution at given initial conditions. So, in order to start the solution, we should have the initial condition or the initial solution at the point at the beginning of the solution interval. This type of problems, uh, for this reason, is called initial value problems. The solution method is based on the principle of calculation of approximate solution by constant increment, which is called the step size. The constant increment is of the independent variable of the problem. It could be time, which is delta t. It could be uh, coordinates, uh, x coordinates, uh, delta x, or any variables according to the physical problem you want to solve. Generally, the step size is designated as h. Let's see how to derive Euler's method uh, according to Taylor's series. Now, this is the Taylor series expansion of y of x plus h. So we have here y of x, which is the value of the function or the solution function at x at the current point, the first derivative of x multiplied by h, the second derivative over factorial 2 multiplied by x h square and so on. Now, in order to get the Euler formula to solve the first order differential equation, we truncate this series. We omit the second order or let's say the second derivative, the third derivative and higher derivative terms in order to obtain this formula of Euler's uh, method. So in this formula we see we have y of x, which is current y, uh, current x uh, variable or value, plus y prime. This is the uh, this function is the uh, actually the uh, first order differential equation multiply by h. This will predict or this will give give us the estimated value of the y of the solution for the next step. The initial condition in this case should be the value of y of x at initial x. That means at the beginning of the solution interval, as we'll see in the uh, example. This method is known as point-slope method because it predicts the next point uh, of the solution at the point uh, or at the slope uh, y prime x because we know that y prime uh, geometrically represents the slope of the line tangent to the curve of the function at point x. Now let's solve this uh, problem. So we have uh, the differential equation, the first order differential equation. We have here, we are given the domain and we are given the initial condition at the first point of the domain, as you see. This is the this is the initial condition, the value of y, the value of solution at the first point of the domain in order to build the solution of the next pins upon that point. We are required to have the solution at the different values of step size, 0 0.5, 0 0.1, 0 0.05, and 0 0.01 in order to see the improvement in solution according to the different value of uh, h, in addition to compare with the results of the given uh, analytical solution, y equals the uh, exponential uh, x to the power or x to the power 2 over uh, 2. Now let's go to the uh, editor and start coding step by step. Now first we define the function. The function has two variables, so we should have two arguments when we define the function. We define the solution here just for comparison, as I said, because uh, in the real life problems, actually 
uh, you don't have the uh, analytical solution that's why you need to uh, solve the problem or solve the equation by using the numerical method but here just we to compare the uh, two method methods we have the uh, initial point of the interval we have here also the final point of the interval of the solution or the domain of the solution we have the first or uh, initial condition so this is the initial condition the value of y at x uh, sub zero the step size is 0.5 so we define the step for size h and since we are have uh, a tabular representation of the solution we define the header of the table so we have here the x on the left column we will have uh, the Euler solution in the middle and the analytical solution we define the first row of the table because we have the, we know the the, the uh, initial value of the domain or the initial uh, start point of the domain we have the initial value of y and we can compute the initial uh, or the uh, the value of the function of the solution function at the uh, start of the domain now we make our the loop the loop starts normally at the first point in order to compute the next points the step size is h and also we have the uh, increment or we are go through the solution up to the point x n minus h why because at every step we compute the solution at the next step so actually when we approach the point x n minus h we will compute the solution at x n this is the uh, idea so let's uh, now write the uh, uh, script inside the loop now we have this is the Euler formula we have here we we have the y of the current solution and we have here dy the uh, differential equation multiplied by h in order to compute the value of the next step and here we compute x at the next step finally we uh, print the uh, results of current uh, or let's say for the next uh, step in order to take the loop for the uh, other values and finally we end the loop now let's run the code so this is the solution at step size 0.5 we notice that there's a big difference especially at the uh, final uh, row so actually 0.5 uh, is not uh, does not give good solution so let's try point one and run the code so we see here there's some improvement the solution uh, of the numerical method became closer yes it, there's a still much a difference but it became uh, closer let's try 0 0.05 and run the code so we see here the uh, solution become closer finally we use point zero 0.01 let's go actually we notice that the solution is much much better and finally we see here that we obtained much closer if we get smaller value of h actually we will get better solution so this is uh, the Euler's method thank you for listening uh, if you uh, like this video please give me a like uh, or uh, and subscribe for next uh, tutorials thank you